Welcome to pre-math. In this video, we have got this uh, big rectangle that consists of a bunch of identical uh, tiny rectangles, as you can see in this uh, diagram, such that the perimeter of this uh, big rectangle uh, is uh, 364 units. And now our task is uh, to calculate the area of this uh, big uh, rectangle. Please don't forget to give a thumbs up and subscribe. Please keep in mind that this figure may not be 100% true to the scale. Let's go ahead and get started and we know that uh, all these uh, tiny rectangles are uh, identical. So all of these one have the uh, same uh, dimensions. Let's assume uh, that the length uh, of all these tiny rectangles is x. This is going to be x, this is x, this is x. Likewise, this is x, this is x, this is x, and moreover, this is x, and this is x as well. And let me call this width of this tiny rectangle as y. Then this is going to be y as well. This is going to be y. And finally, this is y as well. So therefore, the perimeter of this big rectangle is going to be sum of all these individual lengths. This is 3x and uh, 3x over here 6x uh, plus uh, 7x uh, and plus uh, 8x. So I can write down the perimeter is going to be 8x uh, plus uh, and this side length uh, as well y plus uh, y plus y and plus y is going to be 4y. So therefore I'm going to write down plus uh, 4y. But we know the perimeter of the bigger rectangle has been already given to us. This is known. 364. So therefore we are going to equate these uh, right hand side. So therefore I'm going to write down 8x plus 4y equal to 364. And now we can see all these uh, terms are divisible by 4. Let's go ahead and divide uh, across the board uh, by 4 to make our job simpler. So therefore this uh, equation reduces to let me go ahead and call this our equation number one. And here's our next step. Let's focus on these uh, middle uh, tiny rectangles. And we know their uh, width is uh, y. So this is going to be y. This is going to be y. This is y. This is y. And this is y as well. So therefore, uh, this whole uh, length uh, is going to be y plus y plus y plus y plus y is going to give us uh, 5y. And now let's focus uh, on this uh, length. This is going to be x plus x plus x is going to give us uh, 3x. And we know that these uh, two side lengths uh, are equal in length. So therefore uh, 3x is going to be equal to 5y. So therefore let me go ahead and write down uh, 3x equals to 5 times y. And now let's go ahead and divide both sides by 5 to isolate uh, y. Say this 5 and 5 is gone. So y turns out to be 3x divided by 5. Let me call this our equation uh, number 2. And here's our next step. Let's go ahead and plug it in this uh, y equal to 3x divided by 5 value in this equation uh, 1. And here's our equation uh, 1 and I'm going to replace this y by 3x uh, divided by 5. So therefore this is going to become uh, 2x uh, plus uh, 3x uh, divided by 5 equals to 91. Let me go ahead and tweak this uh, 2x that could be written as uh, 10x uh, divided by 5. And now we can see our uh, common denominator is going to be 5. So therefore I can write uh, 10x uh, plus uh, 3x uh, divided by 5 as a common denominator as uh, 91. So this is going to become 13x uh, divided by 5 equals to 91. Let's multiply by the reciprocal that is going to be 5 divided by 13 on uh, both uh, sides uh, to solve for x. And here 13 and 13 is gone, 5 and 5 is gone. So therefore x is going to be equal to 13 goes to 91 7 times. 7 times 5 is going to give us 
35 units. And now let's go ahead and plug it in this x equal to 35 value in this equation 2 to solve for y. And here's our equation 2 and I'm going to replace this x by 35. So therefore y is going to be 3 times 35 divided by 5. So that means y is going to be 21 units and finally we figured out the side lengths of this uh, tiny rectangle x is uh, 35 and the y the width is uh, 21 so let's go ahead and calculate the area of this uh, tiny rectangle and now let's recall the area of rectangle formula area equals to length uh, times width in our case our length is 35 and width is 21 so therefore the area of this uh, tiny rectangle is going to be 35 times uh, 21 so therefore when we multiply we are going to get 735 and now we know there are 11 of these uh, tiny rectangles are in this uh, big uh, rectangle so therefore the area of this uh, big rectangle is going to be 11 times uh, 735 if we multiply this thing that is going to give us uh, 8000 and 85 square units so therefore the area of this uh, big rectangle turns out to be 8085 square units thanks for watching and please don't forget to subscribe to my channel for more exciting videos bye